Welcome back to Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins. I'm Sonny Grint, and we're continuing on with our Getting Started with Creative Drawings Teddy Bear Curriculum. We've already finished Lesson 1, where we've created a teddy bear embroidery. Now we're ready for Lesson 2, where we'll add lettering and assemble to your teddy bear that you did create in Lesson 1. Remember, go to creative-drawings.com to download the lessons to follow along with the video. Now Lesson 2, My Teddy Bear's Lettering, is four parts. Part 1 is we're going to open an existing file and change and even create a new hoop size. Part 2 is how to add lettering and change the color of the lettering. Part 3 is how to insert a symbol and change the color. And Part 4 is how to save your teddy bear with lettering. So let's get started. We'll begin Lesson 2 by opening an existing draw file. Please go up to the Open File folder and click. Remember where you saved your embroidery file in our previous exercise. We named it My Teddy Bear. Please click on My Teddy Bear. You'll see it in the preview window and then click Open. Your teddy bear came right up onto the screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our hoops. Find the Manage the Hoop Options icon on the top menu bar. When you click on that you'll find that there is a listing of many different hoops to choose from in Creative Drawings. If you do not see your hoop size, you can create your own hoop if you choose. And that's what we're going to do today. So if you do see your hoop, simply go to that hoop, click on the hoop, make sure it's in the horizontal position, and then click OK. If you didn't see your hoop, go back up to that Manage the Hoop Options, and we're simply going to Add New. So click on Add New if you need a new hoop size. I find it very important when we describe the hoop to put the size of the hoop in that hoop name. So I'm going to choose and name this as My Hoop, and it's a 140 by 220 hoop size. So notice I type that right in the description so I know that hoop size when I look at that description of the hoop. I'm then going to go ahead and do the same thing here. The width of my hoop is 140 millimeters and the height of my hoop is 220 millimeters. So you can see a little preview of the hoop down here. If you choose, you can make your corner curved. There's really no need because the work area is what you're really concerned about. I'm also going to choose where my hoop attaches. And my hoop attaches on the right hand side of the hoop. So that's where I'm going to put that little connector. If your hoop is on the left, if it's up or down, you're going to choose that right now. So go ahead and put your hoop bracing arms and put a check next to where your hoop is. Then all you have to do is click Add and you've saved your hoop successfully. So click OK. And now notice my hoop came up and it is in the list of all the hoops that I have here. So that 140 by 220 hoop, whatever size you created, whatever hoop you're going to use is the one you want. Now again, remember I said earlier we want a horizontal hoop, so I'm going to rotate by 90 degrees because this is how I'm going to work with my hoop. So notice the hoop is in the horizontal position so I can work with it easily and click OK. So that's it. We've done step one. We've opened our design and we've created either a new hoop size well, we brought our hoop size onto the screen. This will help us as we're creating our lettering as we go forward. So I'm going to stop here. You go ahead and get your hoop and your design into your screen and then come back and we'll start with part two. <music> 